Hey there, Paisanos! Welcome back to the channel! It's a me, Mario, and welcome back to another Let's Play video! Yahoo! That's right, guys, I'm back! And yes, the title screen is not the wrong and correct. Welcome to my very first Let's Play of me playing the old nostalgic game itself Mario and Animatronic Horror! Woohoo! <laughs> so, you guys remember when I told you I was gonna play this? I sure did! Ah, uh, you know, before I get into everything, this game and everything else, I should probably explain almost every detail of what I have yet to do. So if you guys want to skip this, you could, but if you want to watch this, then you can. Like, I have a lot of things to say before I actually start this here. Oh, uh, this is uh, gonna be awesome. <clears throat> okay, so first off, how are you guys doing today? I'm not doing it by myself. Welcome- uh, Yeah, I'm doing great, because honestly, it's been a while since I last done a gameplay video. And yeah, here I am playing Mario and Animatronic Horror. That's what I'm going to be playing for today. And before you guys ask, yes, this is the old school version of the game. Like the one that came out back in 2016 or 17. I can't remember, but I think it was a long time ago, like, when the Huzzah Master made this. Like, <clears throat> it was like that too. But man, I'm definitely excited about this because ever since I saw that... Now, ever since the game got taken down, it was it was under sad but understandable as to why because of like Nintendo and all that, yada yada yada. But I but if you guys are wondering how I got this game back, the the Huzzah Master did mention this in a live stream where he did play this game a, a long a little while ago, and now it's my turn to play this. And I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna say. I found this uh, I found the file the game file for it in the Internet Archives website. I think that's what it is. I found it, and I downloaded it, and here it is! It's legit! I'm really excited about that, that it is too, because, you know... <clears throat> this was the game that got inspired by Mario the Music Box, because that came out first before this one did. And, man, I'm definitely excited about this. Like, this definitely does bring back some good memories. Then there was also some other fan-made Mario crossover games that happened. Like, I think there was that old one, Mario and the Ink Machine. I think it was made by... Super Luigi Guy 14 or however you say that person's name. I think it was gonna be a game, but it got cancelled. And I think there was a Mario and Jolly Bees video game. I'm not sure if there was or wasn't, but I'm just remember some of these things that I saw on Game Jolt a long time ago. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to play this game because I've been thinking about playing this for a while, and now that I finally got the <clears throat> excuse me, and now that I finally got the chance to, you know, download this game again from the Internet Archives, I get to do a let's play on this, because I did do a let's play on Mario the Music Box uh, a long l last year, like a long a long time ago last year, back in 2022, and it was lots of fun, but back then I didn't have the wait, where's the Oh, the oh, there it is. I was going to see where the music has gone. But that was when I played the game in small screen. And yes, I'm playing in full screen now. I know you guys are probably wondering, are you playing this in full screen? How? And you're good for you and how? Well, it's kind of something like this. Basically, when I was trying to record this game, I tried to record myself playing this. Well, not I didn't record it. Like that. I was doing some tests first before I actually got into recording. And when I did the... the the display capture, it only captured the game in small screen on the top right corner. I and I was like, why is it doing that? So I so I took that so I it was like a short clip, like a testing clip. After that I tried game capture and it didn't get it. And then when I tried both, it still did the display capture one where the screen for the game was just on top of the left corner again. And I was like, why? So, uh, but after I did a little, but after I went to my editing program, I, I realized I, I could, I could make the screen for my let's play on this game a bit bigger, like rotate it and scale it to make it a little bigger. So yeah, I think this works. I'm not gonna lie though, when I tried it and did the editing, like, and the editing it showed the, my recording for this when I made it sort of too big and all that kind of slow. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. But when I exported it and watched it, it actually went smooth and normal, like, even when I had it full screen, sort of. Like, it was just that simple, you know? So, yeah. <clears throat> I could have probably explained all this uh, while I was playing the game, but I feel like making this long intro to appreciate this moment here. Like, just looking at the screen here brings back good memories, and yeah. So, yeah, I guess... And I know you guys are wondering, is that as full screen as you can go? 
kind of because I'm not much of an expert on the big screen skill rotating program on my editing software. But I hope this full screen's good enough. Hopefully my recording for this goes well and hopefully no crash, nothing lags or nothing like that happens to this. If it does, I do apologize for that. But I hope this is but I hope this is full screen enough for you guys that you'll enjoy this, cause honestly I'm happy that I get to play this game after so long in this full screen. I might explain more stuff later, but for now I'm thinking of doing this too. So yeah, and also the reason why I'm playing this old school version of the game is because there's a remastered remake version of this game that Huzzah Master is making with his friends and all that. Like, like uh, th the Super Game of Bros. Or Galactic Star Studios, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, what, what he calls his team. They're working on a remake remastered version of the game and I'm definitely excited for it. And I thought, hey, to celebrate this game that came out years ago that in inspired a lot of people to make fan-made games of this and to show my support for them and to get myself ready for the remastered game whenever it comes out this year or next year, depending on how long it takes because uh, time and effort does take time. I thought, why not I play this game? So, yeah. Oh boy, I'm so excited for this. Hope you guys are too. And, uh... And there are lots of people that have played this though too, like there was... Actually, maybe I'll explain all that in the list later. <clears throat> but yeah, are you guys excited for me to play Mario and Animatronic Korra? Because I sure am. This is gonna be awesome. I know this game is old and all that, and some things may have changed this year because the lore of FNAF and all that is different. But this game was old and cut H H Hazal Master some slack. He just... He made this a long time ago with Dark Box, and it was old. Like. It was still a fun game though, it was still fun, a fun game to play, honestly. I guess I got nothing else to say except that I'm really excited to play this. Hope you guys are excited for me to play this finally. And yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So yeah, Mario Namatona Korur, made by the Super Game of Bros. I think that, that they're now called Galactic Star Studios, I think that's what they're called? Probably. But yeah, I'm definitely excited about this and hope you guys are too, because it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I, I guess I got nothing else to say, and I explained my long intro for like more than 5 minutes, like around 10 minutes, so I do apologize for that. But I hope you guys are excited for this, because I am. Uh, I'm definitely excited, this is going to be epic. Hope my recording for this goes well, and yeah. Before I do start this, I want to say sort of quick too. Uh, I don't know if I will leave a link to this down below in the description, because it might get taken down off the internet archive later. But I might, just in case. Although there's something weird with the description links going on, which is kind of weird if you ask me. So, I might leave a link to this down below description. Unless it does get taken down, then that's not on me. Uh, make sure you guys show some love and support to Hazam Master and every and every one of his friends and the Galactic Star team. Give them give them enough time and effort to work on the new Mario Number Twenty Quarter Remake Remastered game. And I hope you guys are excited for me to play this game because I am. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias, Twitter, Discord, Casting Call Club, links are down in the description, as well as my main channel, because I'm trying to upload more videos on there than here. And uh, yeah, let's get this started. I'm going to be playing, th playing this game throughout this entire week, so if you guys like my let's play of this game, then I will continue making this, because I will definitely do this throughout this week. Because it's five nights, so I'm going to do fi five videos of this a day, like... I'm gonna do night one for today, night two for tomorrow, and etc. etc. You guys know what I'm saying? So yeah, like that too. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, I think that's it, right? Alright, let's do this. It's time to dive back into nostalgic land with Mario and Animator on a quarter. You guys ready? Here I am. It's time for me, Mario, to play this game. Let's do this, everyone. Let's -a play. Alright, here we go. Ooh, the music's over. Alright. I'm sorry about that long intro I made, guys. I just felt like it was necessary for me to explain some things, but I hope you guys like that, like the music there and all that too. I guess it was a good way for me to talk while the title screen for the game was playing because I feel like at the same time brings back nostalgic memories. You guys look at it and like, wow, this does bring back memories. And I guess this game might have been quote unquote old, cringe, and confusing, but honestly, it doesn't matter if it is. Whether it was or isn't, this game is still nostalgic. And I'm happy that I get to finally play this again, because I'm definitely excited about it. Like, it had some really good development to it, like an interesting crossover between Mario and FNAF, and that's honestly really cool right there. Like, that's an awesome idea. 
But uh, let's see what else we got here before I do explain more. Warning, this game contains flashing lights, jump scares, loud noises, and no one should play under the age of 13. This game is inspired by Mario the Music Box by Mario's Friend 9. Yeah, or Corpse Syndrome? I think that's what their na her name is now, or their name is. I don't want to presume pronounce. But yeah, like I said, Mario, Mario and Amnesty 21 Quarter came out after Mario the Music Box did. So it was a good game, and yeah. This game, this game and developing was done by me, the Za Master, and a friend of mine named Darkbox. Note that this is a free fan game, and if you have issues, report we report it to me or Darkbox as soon as possible. Continue to enter. All right. Ooh, Freddy Fazbear laugh. Oh boy. So you guys remember when I played? You guys remember when I played the the actual Finance Freddy's game? Cause I did. And it was really fun. And now that I get to play the fan made crossover version of this game. Makes it even more fun. Let's see. If you wish to turn off voices, just go to the options menu and turn down the SE. Note it will affect the sounds of the game. I see. I mean, oh yeah, that's right. There was voice acting in this game too. Like I didn't forget, but I remember. So let's just click that. Would you like to play the intro movie for the game? Who are any flashlights jump scared? Maybe, but I want to say this real quick too. Uh, before I do play, I just want to say this real quick too. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Look, I know this game is old and all that, but it, it's still pretty good. Like, not the best, but it's still good. Like, it brings back good memories, the good atmosphere of it, the storyline is interesting, and yeah. And I forgot there was voice acting in this too. Like, I didn't forget, but I knew. And fun fact, I remember playing this game a long time ago, like way before I started my main channel. And yeah, and then after that, that was it. Like, good lord. So yeah, the fact that I'm now playing this in 2024 is awesome, because I think there was someone else that made this too. I forgot, what was the dude's name that played this a month ago or so? I think his name was Ed P? No, Eddie? No, it was like a a dude with a, with a inkling, with an inkling profile picture. I forgot his name, crap. But I'll remember it later at the, at the end of this video, probably, or in the next episode. And y you guys remember when I played Mario the Music Box? It was on small screen, but now that I figured out how to make my gameplay of RPG games full screen, I could do it like this. I don't know if I should replay the entire Mario the Music Box game again, but in full screen, like how I am with Mario Mario Eternal Quarter right now. But I don't think I necessarily need to, because there's the remastered version, so I should definitely do it for that one. I, for the Mario and for the Mario Music Box one, I might leave it the way it is, unless you guys want me to play the entire game again, but this time in full screen, which I might. I'm not sure. I don't know if I will delete those and then remake them or something, but I'll see what I could do. Yeah, I'll, maybe I might leave it like that or something. I'm not sure, but we'll see. You guys, let me in the comments down below. What do you guys think? Because now that I know what to do, I could play as many RPG games as I want, and then yeah. And now that I have it like this, I think I might do the same thing for the Mario Amatona Horror Arc game and the remastered, I mean, not uh, not Arc, shoot, I meant to say Mario the Music Box. Damn it, why is my head thinking? I don't know, I'm just like talking all that. I might, I might do the same thing for this one. I might do the same thing for Mario the Music Box Arc and the, re the remastered the remake Mario the Music Box game. I think I'll leave my rea my let's play of Mario the Music Box like just the way it is, unless you guys want me to play the whole thing again but on full screen like this one, because now they figured it out, and yeah. But um, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll talk more about it during this video. Also, when I played Mario the Music Box for the first time, like in small screen and all that, the the intro music for the game I guess was copyrighted. I didn't know it was, and this one I remember too. Let's just see if I do remember. So yes, I do remember this game, but I know at the same time. But it's fun to pretend, right? It's definitely fun to pretend all that. So yeah. And honestly, for the mu for the intro music for the game, if you guys are wondering, I'm sure you guys might remember, but if not, the music that's gonna be playing this, it is copyright and all that. It's it's Let's Kill Tonight by Panic at the Disco. I listened to it a few times, and it's one of my favorite songs. Like I love it because it's catchy and all that. And there are a few YouTubers that have played this game, like. Uh, I'll, I'll list them down later, and some of them had to skip it because of copyright claim. But you know what? I don't care. Uh, but you know what? I don't care. I, I'm gonna listen to this anyways. Hope you guys like it. And yeah, this let's let's do this. I'm definitely excited. You know what? Just play the music. I don't care about copyright or anything. Like I'm just gonna listen to it anyways. Be the only one to actually watch this. So yeah. Uh, here you go, everyone. Hope you all enjoy. Let's do this. And yeah, what any flashing lights and all that.
Let's do it. Panic at the disco. Insert a copyright claim. <laughs> Enjoy, everyone. If I retreat, wow. Look how this animation is. But it's nostalgic, it is. Hey, look! There I am! Oh, God, look how terrified I am. Oh, there's Foxy. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Oh, yeah. Ooh. Kill tonight. Look at my avatar, so you really want to kill me. Hi. Let's kill tonight. Oh look, there's Luigi holding the Fred there, Flush. And he got the little scared of Freddy. Yep. Very scary. I hope you guys are able to hear me in the game. If you are, then good. If not, then I do apologize. I don't know if you got it. But I hope you guys can hear us both. Hopefully. Right? Maybe. Man, look at those models. Putting back on base too. I gotta get out the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza as soon as possible. <laughs> oh look! And there I am, stuffed inside the Freddy Fazbear suit. That's a duo C right there, everyone. Freddy Fazbear with a Mario hat. Nice. It is Mario in animatronic corner. Those faces. Oh, and here comes the voice acting. Oh, that was good! Well, there you have it, everyone. I'm the first and only YouTuber to play this game, to play the copyright intro music. I know it's, and like I said, it's, it was Panic at the Disco, and the song of it was called Let's Kill Tonight. It's one of my favorites. The, tight, the, the music is called Let's Kill Tonight, and it's made by the band called Let's Panic at the Disco. So yeah, that was awesome. Hope you guys enjoy that, because I did. Like I said, there were a few YouTubers that did play this game that had to skip it. But hey, looks like I'm the only one that doesn't have to, right? Because I don't care, honestly. I don't care. And yeah, here comes the voice acting to this. The voice acting the voice acting is pretty good, too. I mean, sure, it might not be the best, but it's still good, honestly. Like, you guys ready for this? Because I am. Now we get to the game. Let's do this. Why won't those faces leave me alone? That's Dark Box's Mario voice. I forgot he... <laughs> but uh, it sounds like that. It's cool. I started having... Creepy faces, huh? What kind? I found a way to find out where I've been having these bad visions. Where? Someone is hiring a security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That's when I realize I found a way out. About those visions and events that happen. Yeah, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The help wanted. There it is. Is it me? Or, no, I mean, I can hear what Darkbox is saying. I hope you guys can hear what he's saying, too, because the, the way he talks a little slow, I I guess I could see why he talks slow, because he's reading the script, I guess, but never mind that. Luigi told me that he used to be haunted, hmm. so he has to come with me, but I decided to go alone. I'm more concerned about Luigi's safety. I like how chill I, I like. I like how chill I sound this. I sound kind of like... I sound low and quiet. Not like quiet, quiet, because I can hear what I'm saying. I don't know if you guys can hear the game and Dark Box doing my Mario voice, but I can hear him if you guys are able to as well. I was reported to be over there at midnight tonight. And I am hoping I will find out this mystery. I mean, I don't mind him talking slow a bit. Or, or at the same time I do. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to trash talk this game. I mean, I guess I could for fun. Because everyone up, Because Hazard Master was. But we'll see. But yeah, the voice act... There was voice acting this too. And the voice acting this is honestly really good. Like, I remember this. And, uh, yeah. Let's do this. Night 1, 12 a.m. Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Okay. This must be the place. Oh, look at this. There I am. There's a text. And Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. This is like Mario the Music Box. This is awesome. I just hope I can find something in this place. Because I hear this is haunted. Of course it's haunted. There was literally a scrap opening remastered video that came out on a Master's channel a while ago. Let's see. Basic controls. Arrow keys to move. Shift to run. Exit key to escape for menu. And enter to interact with things. Got it. Alright. Oh look, I can move. Look at that. I'm in the rain. But yeah, the, the few people that I remember... But look, I can also run too with the shift button. 
But yeah, there were a bunch of YouTubers I saw that played this. There was Fusion Z Gamer, there was Taste Gaming, there was Luigi Kid Gaming, of course. There was Vapor the Gamer, and of course there was Eth Goes Boom. I know, I, I'm sure you guys might be familiar with those YouTubers, but if not, then now you do. And I think there were some other YouTubers that played this too, I'm not sure, but I think those are the only ones that did play this game when it came out. I think there were others that played this along the way. I know someone else did. I can't even remember the dude's name that played this a month ago or something. But looks like I'm the first video game character to play this. So yeah. Pretty fast with pizza. You guys ready? Because I am. Let's do this. I need to go inside or else I will get sick if I stay in the rain too long. How can you get sick in the rain? I mean, you can't really get sick in the rain. You would just get wet. Although I guess if you did get wet from the rain and didn't shower as soon as possible, then I guess you could get quote unquote sick, but whatever. Let's go inside. Here we Oh, here we are! There's the animatronics! Mamma mia, those things are terrifying! They are! Guys, look! We're in the pizzeria! And there's the animatronics right there! How's it going, guys? I mean, sure, they, they are terrifying up close, but pixelated like this, they look kind of adorable. I wonder why they were made, and why they're so creepy. Ask, uh, I don't know, ask Scott Cawthon. He made them. Well, I better find the office. Alright, yeah, let's go find the office. Oh boy, guys, look, here I am. Doesn't this bring back memories or what? I mean, sure, this place doesn't look the best, I guess. I mean, it, it kind of does, but it's like, you know, different too. I'm curious, can I go in here? There's the parts and service room, right? Can I go in? I don't think I should go in there. Not yet? Alright, that's a new dialogue. I don't think anyone's done that yet. Can I go anywhere? Can go back out. I can go down, but I want to interact with the characters. Let's go, Freddy. A bear? His name must be Freddy. That's right, it's Freddy Fazbear. Hor, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's, there's Bonnie. We have a bunny. Jeez, he's freaky. I guess. People used to thought Bonnie was purple, but he's actually blue. Fun fact. And there's Chica, the chicken. Let's eat! A chicken? Or is it a duck? <laughs> yes! I remember that too! A a chicken? Or is she a duck? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just funny. Wait, 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 wait. Let me hear it again, please. Let me hear it again. Let me hear it again. A chicken? What is it? A duck? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's just so funny. It is. It's funny. Oh my god. I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Cause I mean it's true. Cause people thought when the Final when the first Final Fantasy game came out, people thought Chica was a duck, but she's actually a chicken. <laughs> it's Chica the chicken. Oh my god, I can't breathe. <laughs> I know it's not that funny, but it is. It's just so perfect. Oh, I am so glad I'm making my recording for this long because Jesus Christ, I'm not doing any bother doing any cuts with this. <clears throat> Unless I do for the next one. <sighs> Alright. Well. I think I'm gonna go to the office now. Bye guys. See you in a bit. Alright, so here I am. But yeah guys. Uh, there, there were a bunch of YouTubers that played this. And it looks like I'm the first one for this year that's playing it. In 2024. I mean besides the other dude that I mentioned. Where should I go? This way? Uh, I guess I'll go down this way. Because left is always right. There's the office. Can I go in the supply closet? Just a closet full of cleaning stuff. But it's locked. Oh crap, it is locked. Alright. Well, here we are in the office. Let's go. Well, here we are. Alright, here we are in the office. Let's get the night started. <coughs> oh, it's the phone. Yeah, that, I, not gonna lie, that would have scared me too, but yeah, let's pick up the phones, here it is. Phone guy? Uh, hello? Hello! hello. What's up, phone guy? Uh, hello! Hey! And welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! Magical place where grown-ups alike, oh. where fantasy and fun can come to life! I forgot the kids part. <laughs> I forgot that there are some 
miss worded spellings, but alright. Where fantasy and fun come to life for kids and grown-ups alike. So, you're the new guard. That's right. This is job. Well, we welcome you. Thank you. So you probably heard about this place <clears throat> used to be haunted and all, but there's nothing to worry about. You'll be fine. You sure about that? Just to keep in mind, the animatronics do walk around at night. But do I have a problem with that? No. But if they see you, they will think you're a naked endoskeleton without a costume on. Obviously, because that's how in their programming for some reason. I know they're possessed by dead by dead spirits, but people could could they say that there's something wrong with their programming or the AI is malfunction? Could be one or the other. So they will forcefully stuff you into a spray Fazbear suit. Oh, that sounds comfortable. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. My reaction too. What? I like that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, but if you see them, just close the doors from time to time. They won't get in. So, in case that's it so far, uh, have a great night. That's it? You can tell me more, but alright. Well, goodbye, phone guy. I'm done. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, exactly. Definitely. <clears throat> hmm. Alright. So, is this the part where we get to see the animatronics next? Oh, yeah, there they are! Did he come back? Oh, they can talk! That's cool. He must have. I know it. Oh, boy. Hey, it's Bonnie the Bunny. He looks red this time, so he must be working for him. Who do you guys think I am? Whoever you think I am, I'm not him. Bonnie, go check if it's... <gasps> oh crap! I like we did that voice change there. Yes, Freddy. Oh god, they're gonna kick my ass! They're gonna kick my Metallian mustache ass! <laughs> I'm not gonna like this at all. We're finally gonna be free. I just know it. Let's see if it's true. But here we go. Things are going okay so far. I better check the cams. Yeah, check the cameras to be sure nothing... Make sure the animatronic characters don't get a bit quirky at night. And they are. Wait, wasn't there a bunny there? Yeah, he's gone. I might be dreaming. Wh I better check the other rooms. Dreaming? Don't you mean hallucinating? Because I know. I'm not sure. Alright. Wait, can I go over here? Okay. I'm also trying to. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, I can walk through the wall! Oh! I can walk through it! What's that? There's something here. Wait. Um, guys, I'm trying to do something. Okay, so I was able to walk through the wall. That's cool. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm trying to see if I can interact with the cupcake because I remember that Eth Goes Boom voices the cupcake in this. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm not sure. I don't even think Hazam Master is going to mind my let's play of this or say anything about it. I mean, will he? Depends. But we'll see. <clears throat> It's 1 a.m. right now. He's probably not even going to comment leaving about this unless he does. But how's, but Cory, if you're watching this, I hope you don't mind me playing this game. I know it's old and crap and all that, but you got to admit, it's still a pretty good game because of how nostalgic it is. Again, may, of course, may not be the best, but it's still good in my opinion. I don't I don't even know why he bothered... Oh, there we go. Bonnie's gone. I don't I don't even know why when Hazam Master made that live streaming to skip all the voices, like... He could have just turned off the voices, or just left it like that the way it is. Like, see, like, don't be shy, dude. Embrace the cringe like me. Okay, what happens if I go over here? The bunny is not on the stage. Oh, now you see it. Yeah, that's right, he's not on the stage. Now you know that you're not hallucinating. Can I go in here? It's locked, I need a key. Oh, now I, I, I decided I'll to... look around, maybe I can find the key. Alright, let's see if I can find the key. Uh, let's see. Can I go over here? No, I can't. <clears throat> I can? Oh, yeah, it's right over here. Can I go in here? I can't go in there. There's Pirate's Cove, that's where Foxy is. Can I look in this chest here? Damn 
damn it, it's locked. Ah, crap, it is locked. I hope I can open it somehow. Wait, damn, damn it, it, it's, it's locked. locked. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder who's in there. It's Foxy, the pirate fox. Hey, what's this? What? Found back room key. Oh, now I can go in the part of the service room. I guess I wasn't able to before, but now I can. So yeah, let's get the key and go on over there. Oh yeah! crap! Jesus Lord of the Bless and Merry Mama Luigi. Wow! I forgot about that! Okay, that was loud. Sorry that scared you guys. Did that get you guys? Let me know in the comments down below if that did, because that got me a little bit. I must be hallucinating. Yeah, I'm hallucinating too. That was dark. Well, that was ridiculous. Can I interact with this gun? No, I can't. No. Damn it, it's locked! Oh, I thought the key would work for that. I don't know why I thought it would, but it... Can I interact with the poster? No, I can't. Crap. Okay, what about here? No. Alright. Wait, what happens when I go down? Wait, what I... Wait, before I do go in there, I want to see. What happens when I go down here? I'm kind of curious to see if there are any leftover secrets that the other YouTubers didn't get. Like, I want to see what happens if I can. Like... Just the closet for... Oh crap, it doesn't work. Guys, I'm sorry, I just like to do s discover secrets, that's all. Okay, no. Can I interact with the cupcake now? I cannot. Crap. What's that purple triangle thing in the, in the middle, though? What is that? I don't know, honestly. <clears throat> well, I guess there's nothing here. So I guess I'll go inside the parts and service room now. Hopefully this key works. I think it does. Made it. Nice. This must be where they build the robots. Yeah, this is. This is must be where they build the robots. Maybe. Wait. Okay, I'm kind of curious to uh, see though. Before I do go any further, I want to see. Can I save? Oh, I can save. Oh, this is like Mario the Music Box. That's cool. I know Cordy was embarrassed when he said that this is definitely a Mario the Music Box ripoff. I could see why, but I think I don't want to say it's a ripoff. I say it's more of like an inspiration because this game it was, of course, heavily inspired by Mario the Music Box, and I like that. I, I think it's a pretty good idea. Like Mario and FNAF, that's a great idea with the crossover right there. You know, I'm gonna save right here just in case. So I think I'm gonna go from left to right. What's this? A newspaper report or something? What's this? And why is there dry blood on it? I don't know. Read it? I don't know. Read it. And why is there... I'm surprised you're not concerned about dry blood. I forgot that there was some spelling grammar and all that too with the atmosphere and all that. But let's see. I hope you guys are able to hear this game and me. Like I said, I, I don't know. Hopefully the game recording for this goes well. Read and all that too. Hopefully the audio, the dialogue, the screen, everything else goes well. Because if it does, then great. If not, then I do apologize for that. But shall I read this newspaper? Why not? <clears throat> Alright. News reported about a child murder at Fredbear's family diner. We found him in Fredbear's mouth. People think it was a spring lock failure. No one knows how it happened, but the owner was not happy when he heard about this. A child murder? I guess so. I don't feel like reading this anymore. Oh. Wait. Okay, that's new. Wait. I don't feel like reading this anymore. Oh, poor, poor me. Well, at least we know. At least we know that he read the case that happened back in 1983 at Fredbear's Family Diner when the child, Evan, I believe. Yeah, Evan was thrown into Fredbear's mouth by his brother Terence. Look, this drawings here. Oh, those kids have nice drawings. Yeah, nice drawing. Oh, th I thought we'd work too. A bunch of empty heads. Yeah, there's a bunch of empty heads here. Hey, look, there's another Freddy clone. Looks like Freddy's brother. Probably. <clears throat> I don't know. Can I interact with him? Just an empty costume. It is. An empty body head without ears. That's right. What if I interact with endoskeleton? That endoskeleton is ugly. <laughs> ugly. That's a good one. Now what in here? Just an empty closet. Nothing? Alright, I guess that's it then. Uh, let me save two real quick again just in case, because I haven't... I do tend to save much when it comes to games like this. But we'll see. 
So there's nothing in here. What's the point of even coming here anyways? Not sure, but let's let's just get out of here. What? Well, uh What's that sound? Sounds like footsteps. I think someone's coming. <laughs> it's Bonnie! You can't hide from your bullet Bonnie. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna hug you till you birth. <laughs> oh crap! No! I don't want to hug from Bunny the Bunny! No, thank you! I gotta hide! Where should I hide? Hide? Hide anywhere! Hide somewhere! Anywhere! What's this? Warning. When you make a choice, the choice could go wrong, and you could pro possibly get killed or game over. Make sure you save very often. Well, good thing I did before I did this, because I remember to say. Because I remember you could do the same kind of mechanics like in Mario the Music Box. Oh, I get choice now. Hide in Freddy's suit, hide under table, or hide in closet. <clears throat> you know what? Okay, guys, I know like, the logical choice would be to hide in the correct answer. Like, I think we all know what the correct answer is, but I want to check out these other ones to see what it is. So hopefully you guys don't mind me doing that. If they are devs, then I'll just skip back to them or something, but we'll see. Let's hide... Let's hide in the Freddy suit first. Let, let, I'm gonna go from top to bottom. Let's hide in the Freddy suit since I saved. I'll hide in one of these suits, but I better be careful with them. How are you gonna be careful with them? You think they're gonna go off? I doubt it. But just try not to do anything stupid, alright? Oh god. Okay, I should be safe in here. Safe? You're inside a suit! Why would you choose a suit? Oh, but here he comes. I know you're here. Oh no. Oh crap, he's right there! Hey! What's up, buddy? Hey! You gonna bring up the followers? <laughs> I don't even know why I said that, but alright. Go away, please. Okay, he's gone, thank god. You, thank god he's gone. Good. Oh wait, I just noticed there's a purple and black glitch, sc gl gl glitch screen right there. That's a nice little thing there. Okay, but he's gone. I can get out of here. Come on, let's get out of this suit. Now, how do I get out of here? The same way you put the costume on. Come on, I gotta shake myself out of this. Ah, uh, that's not a good idea. I think he's gonna get sprayed locked. Ah! ah! Oh God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh! Oh, it's still going. Why? Oh look, there it is, everyone. The game over. I'm dead. Ah, well, lesson learned, do not put on the Freddy Fazbear suit unless you look like that. But guys, look, that's a new OC right there. A Freddy Fazbear, a Freddy, Faz, a Freddy Fazbear suit with a Mario hat. I like that. Anyways, that was uh, interesting. That was an interesting death there. Like, why would you want to wear the suit? I'm not going to wear the suit again if that's going to cause me to die. Let me just uh, try it again, yes? <laughs> Alright, uh, so I die from that. Let's try hiding under the table. I'll hide under the table. I only doubt that he would see me there, but there's a chance he won't. Wait, he will not see me there, but there's a chance he won't. Wait, you mean that there's a chance he might? Because that doesn't make any sense, but I think it does. Let's just try it. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> Stupid rap, stupid bunny. Please go away. <laughs> I found uh oh. You. Oh crap! Hi! There he is! He killed me! <laughs> oh no! And I got killed by Bonnie the Bunny. How about that? How about them apples? That's definitely what they get right there. And look, there I am again. Stuffed inside the Freddy Fazbear suit with my hat on top of the head and my arm is sticking out. My arm is literally sticking out and there's so much tomato sauce everywhere. I know it's blood, but I was just making a joke there. <clears throat> Alright. I'm definitely having fun playing this. Hope you guys are too. Hope you guys enjoy my let's play of this. Anyways, let's try this one more time. <laughs> third time's the charm, right? Alright, third time's the charm. But I think the right choice is the closet. Let's do it. I'll hide in the closet. It has to keep me safe. Keep me safe. All right, we'll do it then. All right, inside the closet. I know you're here. Can't 
Find me, you prick. Should I see if he's still there? Oh, this is gonna lead to another death scene, isn't it? Hopefully that wasn't too loud for you guys. If it was, I need to apologize for that. Let's see. Take a small peek. Don't do anything. Should I even dare? I mean, I did some of the death. I mean, I did get. To I mean, I did get to experience some of the death scenes in Mario the Music Box. So you know what? I might as well try them out to see if I miss any secrets or something for this game here. Because I know it's old and all that, and there is a remaster one coming out. But it might as well try, you know. So you know what? Screw it. Let's take a peek. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. I. Ah, crap! There he is. Okay, so it does lead to a game over already. That's what it is. That's what this crap is. <clears throat> okay, I guess while I'm trying to get back to the beginning again, I might as well talk to you guys about something here and there. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna- I'm thinking- I did- I did tell you guys a little while ago that I was gonna play this game, and here I am! I'm now finally get to play this game. Nice. I know it's old and all that, but you gotta admit, this game does bring back some good memories, right? Because I think it does. And... <laughs> The voice acting in this isn't isn't bad. Like honestly, it's pretty good. I mean, at least it's not AI voices. Am I right? Yeah. I, not that I don't hate AI or anything or love it, but I just never really I never really use AI much, honestly. <clears throat> don't do, okay. Don't do anything this time. Wait for them to gone. He's gone. Goodbye, Bonnie. Get out of here, you giant turd. That was close. Yeah, thank god. I thought he was gonna find me and kill me again like how he did twice, but nope, looks like I'm safe. I better get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of this room. Hey, what's this doing here? What? Found Rusty Crowbar. Ah, oh, perfect! Alright. Alright, I'm gonna save now too, because I'm not gonna go through that again. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, and Chica's gone. Wait, where did she go? She's gone! Can I interact with her being gone? I guess not. That bear freaks me out. <laughs> okay, that's new. That's a new dialogue there. Of course he freaks you out. He's Freddy. He's supposed to do that. Uh, I see Foxy. Wait, what's he? What's this? Oh, he's not talking. This door is locked. I need the key. Wait, what's with that old? Oh look, it's an old sprite! Wait, isn't that from the demo when this came out years ago? I think this is the, the demo sprite, right? Probably. Oh look, there's Foxy. Hi Foxy, how's it going buddy? How's it going, dude? I see you picking out the cone right there. Anyways, can I use the crowbar to pry this crate open? Maybe. Maybe I can use this crowbar. We'll do it. Yeah. Come on, you stupid crowbar! You got this? Yeah! Gotcha! Found kitchen key. Ah, that must go in the kitchen right there. This might be useful. It is. But I'm gonna save two just in case. Alright guys, so uh I think I think this must be the kitchen, right? Yeah, I think the kitchen is in there if I remember correctly. Before I do go in there, I want to go to the off I want to see if there's any secrets when I go to the office. Can I try that? Yeah, let me try that. And every Okay, no, that's not that's the same. I can go back to the office? Wait, why can't I? Oh, okay, never mind then. Alright, I guess we're going in the kitchen. Aha! Here we are! The kitchen. The place where they make the pizzas and the cakes, I think. I know Freddy Fazbear's Pizza makes pizza, but do they make cake too? Because of course they have to when it's someone's birthday. Like this pizza here, which I can't eat, that's disappointing. Fridge, no. Sink, no. Oven? No. Crap. Alright, some papers here. Just some papers. Yeah, papers that are scattered on the floor. Hey, what's this? What's what? Looks like a family photo. Oh! Two adults, one dad, and three kids. Okay, interesting observation there. A bear and a rabbit. Spring Bonnie. Okay, let's see. I'll take a look at the photo later if it's in my item menu. Hmm. Wait, there's something written on the back. What does it say? Oh, there is something on the back. <clears throat> I was the owner of a company called Fredbear's Family Diner. I love designing animatronics to make my kids happy. But recently, but recently my child Nick... Oh, yeah, that's I forgot. This was when it was revealed for the names to be like that. Nick and Kyle... Should I even say... Th correct their names you know maybe i can just for the heck of it but recently my child evan has been scared of fredbear a lot 
uh, his name was Kyle, but I'm gonna call him Terrence because I feel like we work that way too. Because it was in that time, his name was Terrence, but you know, Terrence loved scaring him with the foxy mask that lets him bring home. But when Evan's birthday came, it all changed. I wish things didn't have to be this way. William Afton, aka the man behind the slaughter. William Afton? Who's that? He's purple guy. <laughs> also, I, I don't know if you guys do hear any wind or something, I do apologize. Just the wind blew on my window. I better hang on to this. Alright, let's hang on to it. Found family photo. Can I look in the I settings? Let me see. Uh view profile. Oh, here I am. A brave a brave plumber. A brave plumber hero of the mushroom kingdom with confidence and bravery. Okay, good I guess. Ah, key okay, items, there it is. Let's see crowbar memories. No, family photo. I found this family photo in a pile of papers. I'm not sure of what this photo belongs to. Let's take a look at Can I look at it? Oh, I can look at the photo. Okay, this looks interesting. Hey, look. It's a family photo of everyone. I know this is funny right now, but look at this. This looks interesting. Okay, so we got three adults, five, uh, let's see, no, two adults, four kids, a bear, and a rabbit. You know what? I think because of how I'm looking at this right now, this get. You know, after I think after after I'm done playing this game, I might make my do my own version of this too. I did explain this a while ago, but to put it short, I'm working on a project that's inspired and based off of the old school Mario and Amatora quarter game, all of this too. If you guys didn't know, Mario and Planet's Freddy's, I'm working on a project on this soon. If my let's play of this goes well and if I and if everyone seems to like it, like say idea of me doing it, then I'll do it too. I'm thinking about some other characters too, like the mom and Charlotte. Let's see. So I think here in this photo we got Evan, Elizabeth, Terence, Michael, William, and Henry. And the animatronics are Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. That's it. I know you're like, who's Terence? Well, I, I would say he's like the second brother or something. Not Michael, but you know, like uh, that too. I'll explain about it for another time, if I get the chance to. Let's go. Oh, Foxy's peeking out of his cove. I see you in there, you son of a gun. I see you in there, boy. I see you in there. Look, I'm going inside the cove. I'm literally about to go inside the cove with him. Move out of the way, Bonnie. Looks like Foxy and I are going to be roommates in an ultimate custom night. <laughs> oh, Lord, that's funny. Can I go back in there? I can't go back in there. Can I look at Freddy again? He is, or he could be staring at you menacingly. Oh, now I can go back to the office. All right. Wait, where? Wait, I just realized something. Where is the? Where is the clock timer? It's gone. Look, look in the top right. Where is it? It's gone. That's weird. Can I go in here again? Just a closet full of. Oh, this crap again. All right. Well, I guess I better. Uh... Wait, should I save? I probably should just in case. I don't know why, but I feel like I should if something does happen if I go back in the office, right? Maybe. Alright. I checked the other rooms, but I found nothing. Y yeah, nothing yet. I'll check the cams again. Alright, let's see what we got in the cameras. Oh. Wait. Uh oh. That's Steve. Foxy. It's empty. He's gone, he's gonna get me. And there he is! Ah, no! He's coming to my office! He's gonna kill me! Idiot, that's what you're supposed to do. Wait, hide under the desk closer. Oh, why would you hide under the desk? Okay, guys, look, I know closing the door is the right option, but because I saved all that, I want to see what happens if I hide under the desk. I want to see the jump scare. Can he kill me? I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Hide under the desk. Do it. I gotta hide. Well, hide. Here he comes. Oh crap, there he is, he killed me. Yep, I knew it. I was trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> I, I I mean, Foxy did his diddly dubs, and I thought I thought he was gonna get me right there and then. I didn't know he was gonna do a little longer than the jump scare me. I thought he was gonna like, you know, like do the diddly dubs and then randomly just out of nowhere, like for a few seconds, like kill me, like instant. 
I'm not sure. I, I thought this was gonna happen, but I guess it's different. At least we got to see a, a foxy jump scare. That's cool. Alright, let's uh, let's try that again. I checked the other... Yes. I'll check the cans again. Anyways, let's try that again. This time I'm gonna close the door like a spotted night guard. Ah, no. Yes, here comes Foxy. Close door. See ya, Foxy! Get out of here, you damn pirate fox! Get out. Shoo! Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Oh man, that was close. I should keep looking around. Keep looking around? You almost you almost walked the plane because of that one eye hook bastard. Why would you want to do that? Wait, can I go back in the office? Wait, I just realized it's 4 a.m. right now. Look, see? Now it's back. Now it's back. I just realized. Like, you guys saw that, right? I saw a change. Look, the, the clock is back. It's back. I think I'm gonna save two just in case. Alright. Uh, let's see what happens if I go now. So where do I go? That bear. It looks like he's... Thinking. Of course, yes, he is thinking. Can I go? No? Okay, where do I go? Do I go here? Can't go in there. Oh, there's the arcade! I remember this. Oh yeah, the arcade. Can't go back in there, damn it. Wait, where did the crate go? Guys, I just realized! The crate's gone! Where is it? Can I not interact with this? Damn it. Alright. You guys, look, it's an arcade. It wasn't here before, but it looks like it is now. I think before I do play this, I'm gonna... Alright, let's do this. Shall I? Let's do it! I don't remember this being here. Me neither. Should I play? Probably not. Let's see what happens if I don't touch it. This is no time for games. Might not be, but I am playing a game within a... Looks like I'm playing a game within a game. That's cool. I don't remember. Should I play? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's try it. I guess a teeny bit of gameplay wouldn't hurt. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Why does he hate me? Wait, what? Who? Why does he hate me so much? What are you talking about? Wait. Oh, FNAF 4! Guys, look, I'm playing this oven! Holy crap, that's, uh, that's cool. Wait, I can't take this out of this, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Okay, good. Thought it was waiting for a second. Can I go outside? I don't want to play outside right now. Oh, okay. Uh, what do I do now? Dad said I'm allowed in there. Okay, guess not. Guys, look! The okay, I know this may... I know Cody was complaining about the sprites and all that, but honestly, this looks so good. Like, this looks really accurate to the... To the FNAF 4 one, right? This looks so accurate to the FNAF 4, like, to the FNAF 4, uh... The FNAF 4 minigame, you know, where you play as the crying child. Look! It looks so identical to it! That's awesome! I like that. There's Mangle. Hi, Mangle! Just gonna speed run through this. And let me guess, is this the part where the brother comes out and scares the crap out of him? I know it is, watch. Oh, crap, there he is. <laughs> You're such a baby. You son of a bitch. Why, child? Why? Damn. What an asshole scaring his little brother like that. Oh, no. Yeah. That poor little child. I feel bad for the little guy. Yeah, his brother is an asshole. Obtain memory one. That's it? You're not going to show us the bite? I guess not. Okay, so it's 5 a.m. and the atmosphere music ambiance has stopped. Why? Wait, why did it stop? Not sure. Can I play again? This game is. This game is incomplete. Wait, what do you mean incomplete? Can I not play it again? Can I not see the bite of 87 that happened? Because I think that's one of my idea. Because I think while I'm playing this game, this might give me some idea of what I could add into the story of Mario and Finance Freddy's, the upcoming project that I'm working on and making. So, yeah. Wait, can I go back? Wait, did I go in here already? No, I did. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I, I don't have short... I don't have short to remember us, but let's see. Can I talk Freddy? God, that bear! <laughs> he's just... Ugh. You really hate Freddy that much, don't you? Look, he's not even that bad. All he says is, Har, 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 har. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, God. Can I go in here again? Just the close. Okay, crap, never mind. Well, I guess that's it. Time to end the night, right? Well, I guess that's all the rooms. Yeah, it looks like I discovered all the rooms, and I played the secret minigame that... 
shows the ba- the flashback of FNAF 4, where Evan gets jump scared by his brother Terence. But I never found the chicken. Yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might add Chica in this night if I were to make a... Yeah, because I am, like I said, I'm writing this, so I might as well reveal some things or what ideas I come up with, but you know. Oh, and the power is out. That's just great. Every 5 a.m. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm dead. So, is this the part, wait, is this the part where Freddy sings? I think so. Oh god, have you guys ready for this? Because I am. What you got, Freddy? Did he? There he goes. Welcome yep. one and all, it's time to have some fun. <laughs> Let's have a party. Nice. For you, my friend. Hey, Toronto, away we want to play with you. Are you sure? Every night. <laughs> oh god, alright, he's my functioning. Hey, don't run away. It's time to play. No, it's not. Our happy. I hope you guys can see the screen and hear this, because I try to make it as big as I could. I hope it's okay. Is it good? Like, please let me know. I hope it's really good, because I'm hoping my recording for this goes well you guys like it. You know? Definitely. <clears throat> God, he's really demonic right now. <laughs> Bloody corpse! Jesus Christ! That's it! <laughs> oh, and I'm dead. Psych! I'm not dead! It's 6 a.m. I'm alive! Wow! It's 6 a.m. That's all right. Yahoo! I did it! The animatronics are turned off. And I'm safe! <laughs> Thank God. I thought it was done for. Yeah, I thought it was done for too. I better get out of here. Yeah, let's not come back here again, right? No, I'm just kidding. We got night two, right? Yeah, we got night two. It, it, it was still continuing? If we do, then I might have to end it here or something. I think it's night two, yeah? Ah, yes, here it is. Night two, 12 a.m. Alright, I'm gonna think I'm gonna end this here. Let me just see what happens first, and then I'll repeat this again for tonight. We're back here again. Well, it's time for another night here. Yeah, I don't know why you're back here, but you shouldn't be. Maybe I can find more evidence about the haunted animatronics. I think we both will. But that'll be a story for another day because I'm going to end this here with night one and I'm going to play night two next time. Title screen, there we go. So yeah, I guess until next time, I'll end it here. Look, Bonnie Fan 3000 Dark Box. <laughs> that was his old name. All right, and that's it. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my first ever Let's Play of me playing night one of Mario and Animatronic Horror. The old, the, the good, the old nostalgic RPG horror game between the crossover of the red of the red Italian plumber, me of course, and the bear himself, the, the main star of the show, Freddy Fazbear, made by Haza made by the Super Gamer Bros or the Galactic Star Studios now. Uh, <clears throat> holy crap! You know what? I'm honestly glad I recorded this and played this because I hope you guys enjoyed my let's play of me playing this because I know the intro I, I I know the intro I made was long and there were some other things too but cut me some slack I just this is my first time recording myself playing this like not my first time playing this game because like I said I played it a long time ago and it's been a while but I'm just glad that but my first time of me recording myself playing this game because not only did I get a chance to I guess sort of to fix the audio, which I hope you guys were able to see my recording of this game, were able to hear the dialogue of this and me at the game at the same time too. If you guys did, were able to see and hear all this, then good. If not, then I do apologize for that. And the fact that I finally decided to make this whole, that, that I say, decided to make my first Let's Play on this full screen, it's honestly a ni nice goal too. I wish I would have done this with with Mario the Music Box, the original game, if I knew that I could do this. But oh well, you went to me lose some. I don't know if I should leave my Let's Play on those the way they are, my Let's Play on Mario the Music Box the way it is, or if I should play the whole game again, but this time do it like this, like how I did with Mario Animatron Recorder. Maybe I'm gonna leave it the way it is, I'm not sure, but I might try. Like, let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should play it again but the full screen like this, or what? Because I don't really mind either way, but you know. <clears throat> And I hope this was, I, and I hope this was full screen enough for you guys to see in here, because 
I tried to make it as big as I could, but you know, I hope it was okay. But yeah, like I said, I'm in this here. Man, this does this game bring back memories or what? Sure, it was cringe and all that, but honestly, it, it's still good. Like the voice acting, this is really good. Like, it, it's better than AI voices, am I right? Like, you have to admit, it is great. So yeah. <clears throat> but that, but like I said, guys, that was me playing night one of Mario and Amazon Horror. I'm gonna upload this for today, and tomorrow I'm gonna be uploading number two, like me playing Mario Amazon Horror Part Two. 3, 4, and 5, and then after that, then I guess that's it. I couldn't find any secrets except for the extra dialogues that was said. I don't think anyone's able to do that, but, you know. <clears throat> but yeah, what do you guys think of this game? Like, does this game bring back good memories, or what? Do you guys prefer this game over Mario the Music Box? Or do you like Mario the Music Box more than this? I'm not saying but one game is better than the other or not. Like, both games are good. Like, Mario the Music Box is a is a well-made, really awesome fan-made game. And Mario Maternal Quarter is a pretty good game too, like an epic crossover between both popular franchises. Even bo both of us got our own movie, adap movie adaption films last year, so that's another thing as to why both this happened between the two of us. So yeah. I definitely like both games, because they're both nostalgic. I guess especially this one. But Mario the Music Box will... Well, Mario the Music Box will be is, will be my favorite Mario fan game. Mario Maternal Quarter does hold a place in my heart because I, because in IRL I'm I'm both a Mario fan and a FNAF fan and a bunch of other and I'm a fan of other franchises too. But you know, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm gonna this here before I make this any longer because this is probably the longest Let's Play Part One Let's Play thing, video that I've ever made. So I'm in this here. Thank you all so much for watching my Let's Play Me playing this game. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then thank you. Feel free to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Don't forget to turn on the bell so you won't miss a video that I will upload next. And leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this game. Because I thought it was fun. Let me comment down below if, you, if there's any secrets that I might have missed or something. And let me know comment down below if you guys are looking forward to the new game. Because I am. And like I said, the reason why I'm playing this is because I wanted to like to see... My thoughts on this, like, since I am playing this in FNAF and all that. And, yeah. And also, while I wait for the new game to come out, like, the remastered version of this, I thought why not to play the old school version of this. So, yeah. Stuff was said and done. And, yeah. And this is the part of the video where I get to add the Markiplier Haunted Shriek outro. Because I did that for Mario the Music Box, so why not to do it here? So, yeah, play that. And, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all again so much for watching. Hope you guys were able to see my let's play of me playing this whole game. Hope this went well. If it did, then great. But yeah, I'm in here before I make it any longer. Thanks again. I'm a Mario. And as always, I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Yahoo!